Herbert on third down now. He finds his target, Allen. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A pretty sizable deficit here in the first quarter. This defense will probably need to get off the field in those situations on third down. And you and I both know in this huddle before that last third down play, that's exactly what they talked about. Let's make a play. Let's get off the field. Let's reverse the momentum. Instead, they got hit with another first down, almost back to the drawing board. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. It's Eckler again. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. 44 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Running on first down, Eckler. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. 12-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Try to punch it in with Eckler. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. That was the kind of play that this defense needed because it has not been a good half for them on that side of the football. Maybe they can use that one to regroup a little bit and start to play a little bit better. Fourth down, Herbert. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Tashawn Gibson. And the 49ers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20 yard line. Well, Charles certainly circled that play. We might have to revisit it later. They had three in their back pocket. They go for it on fourth and goal and throw the pick. Well, you know, we're still in the first half. A bold call, nonetheless. And I guess the book might have said, take the three. But it looks like they burned the book and just said, give me the analytics. And the analytics said, go for it. Didn't work out. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. McCaffrey running up the middle. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. Five yards, now it's third and five. Birdie. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. 
So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. The offense heading back out as we take a closer look at Austin Eckler. It may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means he's getting plenty of blocking. A lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. The offense on third down tonight, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. On first and 10 is Spiller. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now it's Herbert. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tashawn Gibson. So this defense coming up here to take away, and maybe that's something that can bring a little life to that sideline. Well, I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true, but you're right. We haven't seen a lot of fire from these guys, really on either side of the ball. So maybe that's the catalyst that they needed to get them back into this game. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Asante Samuel Jr. there finding his way to the ball for a stop and a tackle behind the line of scrimmage. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now here's the option play going left. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Brock Purdy, a 21-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers have cut it back within a score. Gold with the extra point, and this is back to a five-point game. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. Fielded just outside the goal line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game, so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm going to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete, make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Once more, here's Eckler. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. 92 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. On second down, Eckler. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. 
They run behind center with Spiller. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 23. A gain of 22. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Looking for Allen. He's got him on the slam. And the Chargers are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. They'll run here with Spiller. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. Here's second and goal operating from the eight-yard line. to pass buying time to his left and he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports the line of scrimmage is the two here on third and goal Eckler now between the tackles. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Herbert jogs off, and out comes Dustin Hopkins to take this kick for L.A. on fourth down. Hopkins' kick is good, and that now makes this a 15-7 game. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me... With no wind, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. Taken from about the 12. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. There are the 49ers getting set to trot out there. 
The football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Mitchell with a catch out of the backfield. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. This is taken around the 12. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. And we spotlight Keenan Allen as he gets set to go back to work. Making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. Is getting big yardage with each and every one of them. On first down, it's Herbert. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Herbert. His throw incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Throwing again on second and 10. Herbert. And this is thrown to the sideline. No receiver in the area, though. And that's going to bring out a flag. Uh, we saw it too. Nobody in the vicinity of that throw, and that earns him the penalty. Yeah, you've got to at least get it close enough to one of your own guys in order to dodge the penalty. third and long they'll look to throw and that's complete to the right side it's Allen he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds a real letdown defensively that was third and a bundle but they allow the conversion Herbert back to the air Going back to Allen, he's got him again. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. He hit his first, this one from 40 yards out. Hopkins' kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night as we'll send you back over to Orlando with our... We now proceed to the start of the second half. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. Pulls it in at the 13. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two score games start of the third quarter, but you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, 
then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive, because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, try and slow things down a little bit. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Purdy with it on third and long. Flushed out right. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So the big play nullified a legal forward pass. And maybe we know why they were able to get such a good chunk of yardage on that play. That pass was illegal. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Taking it about the 16. A big boot that time. 57 yards, the official distance. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Hands this to Spiller to start things. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. They'll try and run for it with Spiller. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there, but they do convert on fourth. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. from the gun, a run by Spiller. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Right back to Spiller on second down. And hard running's gonna get him over the 40 to the 42. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. On third down, it's Spiller. And they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. Sometimes with the running game, you just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And they snap it to Herbert. Sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and 10. Up the middle with Eckler, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. On second down, Spiller looking for space. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Again, they run it with Spiller. That he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. 
Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Here we go on fourth. Herbert. Williams brings it in. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as that'll be a gain of 15 on fourth. Out of the gun to give to Spiller. And he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Right back to Spiller on second down. And finding room to work, he's down to the two-yard line. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. A oh, lot of praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. So call that no gain on the sneak, and now they're still a yard short here on fourth. Well, that play seemed well scouted defensively. They collapsed everything inside. Nowhere to go on the quarterback sneak. Now it's going to bring up fourth down. They'll run for it with Eckler. And not only did he not get in the end zone, he didn't get the first down either. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. And while they hope to continue this drive, it's really already mission accomplished. They've given enough space now that they have to punt the ball. They've done so with that first run. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. Eight yards there, getting him out of danger. It's a first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. First down, this is McCaffrey. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Here's the option going left on second down. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. They run with McCaffrey off the option. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That's a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that, and that really chips away at your confidence. The throwing here, Purdy. The tight end, Kittle, has it on the left side. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion.
First down, it's Purdy. The same target, same result, it's Kittle. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. On second down, McCaffrey. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Niners on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and nine. Purdy looking to throw. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And he'll be brought down shy of the first down marker at the 11. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through. And that'll make this an eight-point game. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. This take it in at the goal line. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and ten. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. On fourth down, Herbert. And able to on the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call, and the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall, first on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up, but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, They'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he showed. Here's second and nine. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he'll be close to a first down at the Chargers' 15-yard line. 61 yards rushing for him now to this point. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. 
He will push his way down to about the 14. The keeper nets him only a yard, and that's going to bring up fourth. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Purdy, big fourth down play. And it's caught. Touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel, a 14-yard touchdown. And the 49ers have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. The conversion good, and we are tied in the fourth. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted to tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us. The Charger offense making their way back out there. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. The former first-round pick, Eric Armstead, the one who got in there to make that play. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Herbert now. Throw over the middle into the hands of the tight end, Parham. So the completion good for six yards. And they're going to face a third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. to throw here, Herbert. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. So on fourth down, a big time completion. And the defense, they've got to be shaking their heads right now. Not only shaking their heads, but understand that they committed one of those cardinal sins that they say they can't do at any time. They committed an eye violation, had their eyes in one place, and allowed the deep ball behind them. They'll look to run with Spiller. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. Isaiah Spiller taking it in from two yards out. And the Chargers answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. And they'll have Herbert try and throw for it. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice this now something they never really did before and San Francisco gets set to go here still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter just a one possession game down eight they'll be looking for the touchdown and two-point conversion a field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage officially it's a one-yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11. He's going to keep this again. 
And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 11 yards is the gain on the keeper there, but now it's third down. Purdy bootlegging it. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. On first down, Purdy complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right in midfield at the 50. Seven yards there at a first down. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. First down San Francisco to pick up 14 yards. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. On second and nine, Purdy, this one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Now Purdy. They'll get this to Jennings over the middle. And he is going to have the 49ers first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. They run with McCaffrey off the option, and he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. First down, here's Mitchell. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. Off the edge and right to the ball that time was Kyle Van Noy. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Right back to Mitchell on second down. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Well, this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. Back to throw, Purdy. Touchdown! George Kittle from eight yards out, and the 49ers are back within a couple of the lead. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says, but defensively, they can't hang their head right here. They've still got a chance to come out with the lead if they make a play. Complete at the one. And he will get into the end zone for two. And this game now tied here in the four. And the formula there on the two-point try, they go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure that if someone, if they're going to catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. 
Austin Eckler and the Charger offense reclaim center stage. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. you probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. From the gun, Herbert on third down. That is caught. It's Williams. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That third down conversion, good for 23. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. On first and 10 is Spiller. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Right back to Spiller on second down. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Calling a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. They keep it on the ground with Spiller. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They run behind center with Spiller. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Straight ahead, it's Spiller. And not much running room. Down to the 32. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. As he'll get it with still a minute 20 left to go in the game. A field goal try would be almost 50 yards from this spot. So what can they do to get closer now on third down? Herbert. And Allen's got it. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Try to punch it in with Eckler. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Try to surge ahead with Spiller. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to bring up a fourth and goal. But defensively, that's a nice stop there on third down here in the fourth quarter. Now, offensively, kicking the field goal, taking the lead, right? It certainly appears that way, doesn't it? Especially since you, you know, got stopped on the previous play. But if you've got something you really like, something that you've practiced all week, and you think, hey, this is the time to use it, this is the play, I wouldn't be deterred. 
would gamble a little bit and go for it right now. Hopkins' kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. So he remains perfect, three for three, in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. Pulls it in at the 13. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So now the Niners down by a field goal at time, a huge factor. Now they need at minimum three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Purdy. And this is caught. Jennings. And he's going to be out of bounds inside the 25 yard line. A big play there for the Niners. 52 yards. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So a big kick coming for Robbie Gold. This to potentially send us to overtime. And his kick here is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. The 
Charger drive about to get going. Tie game, and barring something incredible here, we're likely headed to overtime. What I would do is either hand it off inside or more likely I take a knee and let the clock run out because if I'm back there trying to throw and a sack happens, the ball comes free, I can lose the game here. If I get to overtime, I can still win it. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. He's airing it out for Williams. It's caught at the 10. blows and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor 60 minutes just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game it's a little teaching moment here overtime rules remind us how this goes partner okay so in the past we had sudden death first team to score wins but no longer now if the team receives the ball scores a touchdown they win the game if they kick a field goal though or don't score the other team gets a possession and after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So it's the 49ers who will get the football first with a chance to win it here in overtime. Taken from about the 12. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. All set up for him right now, Charles. Opening possession of overtime. They've got the football. They also obviously have this home crowd behind them in a big way. They give that extra energy from them, but they've got to be careful not to let that adrenaline get away from them and play too fast or create errors of their own making. Use that energy, embrace it, but make sure they channel it the right way. They've got a chance to go downfield, score a touchdown, and end this game. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. Now a first throw here in overtime. Completes it to the tight end, Kettle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Now a give right side McCaffrey. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Purdy from the gun on third down. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Michael Davis. Pass the 20. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. They were in the dime. They had six defensive backs there. So go ahead and throw it. He threw it, and it hurt him. It's almost thrown into a blanket of coverage, isn't it? You talk about the best defenders you have are the defensive backs. Six of them on the field. You're almost asking for trouble, and that's exactly what they ran into. Ended up throwing a pick six. Yeah, six defenders and six points. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles, in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory, and that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Oh, uh, the trip home so much sweeter, isn't it? All the noise they heard before, how tough it is to win on the road, how tough it is to play in this stadium, how hyped up that crowd's going to be. They just used it as fuel, came in full of confidence, believed in themselves, and got it done. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Silicon Valley. Rubik's Cube.
afford to stop and go. I had to stay consistent. Made up my mind that no matter what, I gotta win. That's why it's always me and never them. Hey. One shot for everybody living in the moment. One shot.